Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Arvid here, straight from the Adobe Substance Day at Sigur of 2025 in Vancouver. I had a really great time, there was so many people to see, so many cool presentations, and I really enjoyed attending the Substance Days to learn all about the latest updates in Substance 3D. And today I just want to recap a couple of these things, and while doing so I would also like to show a couple of these features here in my little uh, short tutorial showcasing this little pumpkin um, ready for the Halloween season. Now let's get started by going to the Adobe Asset Library, grabbing our Halloween asset and then jumping into Adobe Substance 3D Painter and load our pumpkin asset. And the first step is I'm browsing a little pumpkin material, I'm popping that onto the pumpkin and I'm adjusting the parameters, adjusting especially the placement of the procedural noises using the um, the texture attributes like triplanar or um, spherical and then adjusting color slightly to just get it into line. On top of that I was using a different noise pattern to create more height variance to create a very detailed surface. Also adjusting the environment I was able to um, preview ray trace shadows which is quite interesting as you can then see a proper ray traced um, asset in Painter which is really helpful to get the final look faster. And as you can see here, I'm using the new curve tools in Substance Painter that allows me to create some additional detail around the eyes. I'm using it to lighten up the area and also some breakup for the height maps. It really helps to get more realism out of this pumpkin render. As a next step, I was using the baking engine to output me all the mesh maps like ambient occlusion, curvature, thickness to allow me to use the uh, really cool shaders that um, generate me masks that I can use to apply more detail. And you can see I'm using the occlusion mainly and curvature to create more details in, in the concave areas to just create some grime and dirt within. Once happy with the overall look, I was ready to create one more map, which is called Thickness, which I can use later on for shading, maybe subsurface scattering. But then I was ready to export all the textures to file um, using the metallic roughness workflow. And then just hopping into the Substance Stager to get everything together, lighting, cameras, materials, and then creating a quick uh, little turntable. Now in Substance Stager, we are just importing the USD asset that we created with the Substance. It's as easy as file importing it. And then we're heading over to the Material tab to connect the exported textures from Substance Painter and hooking them up to the materials within the Stager. It's an easy process. You just open up um, the materials, the especially your base color. You pick the file on disk, hook it up, and you do that for all the other materials. You can obviously play a little bit with the values, with the height maps, bump maps and such to get the look you're after. And then it's mainly about adjusting it and placing it. Next up was to work on the lighting and for a little pumpkin usually there's a candle on the inside. So I just created a point light and placed that inside a little bit to the top so it will create some nice shadowing. And to actually see all of that, here comes the new feature which is the ray tracing engine built in which will give you very accurate um, shadows and renders that will make your product look way better than the OpenGL engine. So that in place I had to create the internal lights and then as a beauty light I created two more area lights on the outside to just get some interesting edges. And then a very cool feature is you can use the generative tab to create some backgrounds for your assets. So I'm using a spooky Halloween backdrop that just puts my pumpkin in scene. I think that really, really helps and makes it look well. And to show it all off, I was using the animation presets to create a very simple turntable. I removed the artificial background and uh, rendered it um, for I think 90 frames. Pretty fast, the GPU support, the GPU render is super quick and uh, yeah, this is the final render. Try Substance 3D today to check out all the new updates announced at Substance Days. 